Hello and welcome back. So I am really excited to be trying this program out. This is another program from Explore Learning and it is called Frax. So this is the same company that does Reflex Math. And um, I've heard a lot of really, really great things about this game, but I've never played it before. So quite excited to check it out, see what happens. So we're gonna click start and see where we're going and uh, what happens when we get there. So enjoy the journey with me. Welcome back. That was excellent work on your first mission. I can tell that you have what it takes to do very well here. Today, I want to show you some special rooms. Tap this door and we will go inside. Okay, so we're going to tap this room to see uh, to go inside. And uh, we are going to check out some of the special rooms that are on our ship. And so let's go ahead and click here. You have two rooms on Disable. Over here is your trophy room. And this is your personal cabin, your home on the ship. Tap on one of the rooms to go inside. Let's tap the trophy room this and see. This is your trophy room. Look, your first mission award is already in there. Ah. It is me. Who would not like to snuggle with that? As you earn more mission awards, they will show up here. All right. So we have this award and that's mission two for Wheel of Life. Okay. All right. So we got, we have one mission. Let's go ahead and go back to the hallway here and check out our student cabin and find out what we can here do with this. It, is. it looks a bit plain now. But do not worry, you can use your tokens to buy things to make it nicer. Here is how many you have. Now, tap here to open the store. All right, let's see the store. The yellow tags show the prices. If there is no tag, it means that you already own it. Once something is in your room, you can turn it by dragging it onto these arrows. To put something away, just tap it again in the store. So that is all. Make yourself at home. Okay, so we have some different bed sheets, bed accessories, um, cool desks, recliners, ottomans, some nice bookcases, uh, ooh, some comic artwork, some potted plants, floor lamps, some rugs. So a lot of cool stuff to deck out your uh, room, your cabin. And so let's go ahead and go back to the bridge and then we'll go ahead and hop on a mission. Okay, so let's go back over here. So it says you have finished every mission in Sector F. Great work. So let's go ahead and continue. And we're gonna go back over to here for mission one, the journey begins. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, play these to figure out how Frax is gonna help us with our fractions. The adventure begins. Let's go ahead and play this. All right. This, it's a two block. Let's scan it. Great. Let's keep scanning. Which block fits the scanner? Well, this was a two size, so we'll get the two block and get that in there. Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Now that's bigger than two, so let's try the three. Let's see if three will fit in there. Yep, I'm ready, let's go. All right, and now that's oh, smaller than two was, so let's click the one, and one should go in. Yep, I'm ready, let's go. Okay. The time to scan the blocks that are shorter than one block. That's right, we'll have blocks shorter than one. I'll grab them. All right, try one of these blocks. So this one is about half the size. I'm gonna see what happens when we're wrong though. So if we click one and try to fit it in. Ready, let's go. Nope, that does not work. Let's go ahead and get the half. So it lets me know when I do the wrong thing. And that is great. That immediate feedback really helps me understand. Now this is about half of a half. I know that a fourth is about half of a half. So let's go ahead and put that in there. I am ready. Let's go ahead and go. 
All right. There we go. And third would be a little bit bigger than a fourth. If you cut something up into three equal parts, the third is going to be a little bit bigger than the fourth is. All right. Put these in order from shortest to longest. Start by putting the shortest block on top and the longest one on the bottom. And I think all I need to do is move that down and they look in order to me from the shortest to the longest. All right, so let's push go. All right, they are all ready. Well, that's all of them, Bruno. The sable is loaded. All right, 10 tokens for that. And let's go ahead and do our next activity, block stock. Okay, let's play block stock. All these trucks hold the same length. Let's measure it. So it holds a length of one. So that's our length that's one. Let's put those one block on the truck. Okay, press go when it's ready to go. Let's put this half block on the truck. A half block is too short. It is. What if we used two half blocks? Let's go ahead and add both of them and click go. All right. Let's keep loading trucks. There's one half and there's another half. All right. That truck is ready to go. Now we have fourths, so we're going to need four fourths. Four fourths in our truck for it to be ready to go. One, two, three, four. Four fourths equals one hole. All right, and now we have thirds. So there's one third, two thirds, and three thirds. Three thirds equals a hole. Oh, got to resume that, equals a hole. All right, this truck is a little different. This is all, it, this one also holds a length of one. So we need two. Oh, it's quizzing us to see if we know the numbers to enter. And we need four fourths. I love that it's doing this. This is really neat. Three thirds. Awesome. And now four fourths. So much fun. I'm really enjoying this music. Three thirds. Okay, and then this is going to be two. You can see there's two sections, so we have two halves. And we can count the sections down here. This is also going to be two. We need, this is a half. And then there's going to be two sections, two parts, two, two halves, which will make it up. This has four sections, so we're going to need fourth. And four fourths is going to equal one whole. Now this is our one, this is a three. So thirds, three thirds is gonna equal one whole. One last, one last kind of truck. Let's measure it. The length is still one. So we need two halves. Ooh, now we're gonna put three thirds on top. That's cool. Great job, guys. You've all earned an extra can of oil. Way to go. All right, 15 tokens. And so this is going to get us used to thinking about fractions and manipulating them and using them. Really, really cool. So Tower of Power is going to be next. And we'll do Tower of Power and then we'll do the last game in Mission 1. All right. Well, this says that that's complete. And that says, okay, so let's go ahead and play Tower of Power. There we go. First, let's measure the length we need. Okay, the length is one. It sure is. How many of these do we need? Oh my goodness. So we have to click three in order to get it through and it's slowly going down. So we have to make sure we do it in the time it looks like. I wonder if it's going to, we just need one of those. I wonder if it's going to speed up. So it's going to get, it'll get harder and harder to do. Okay, we have fourths now. So that's a third. Halves. Oh, this is exciting. 
And then one whole one would fit in there. Okay, four fourths. Cool. What size? So this is, you see how it's split? We would need halves for that. And then this would be, there's four spots. So fourth. Awesome. This one is split into two parts. So that's going to be halves. Yes. So cool. This one is fourths. Four sections down there. Now there's three sections down at the bottom. So we'll type third. This is so exciting. There's two halves there. What a cool game. And then there's three thirds there. So let's click thirds. Woohoo. And then this is a fourth. There we need to do four fourths. Oh, I see what's going on now. Tricky, tricky. Two halves will make a hole. Four fourths make a hole. And three thirds make a hole. Woo! That's <laughs> so cool. Okay, so we need that's fourths on the bottom. And then we have thirds there. Man, this is really neat. And then we have halves. Awesome, awesome. And fourths. So cool. Whoa, let's see. Thirds there. And we've got some fourths coming in. And then we've got thirds. And then we have halves. <laughs> oh man, this is neat. Captain, the sable is fueled and ready to go. Awesome. We got, whoa, 35 tokens for that one. That's awesome. All right, we're going to play the last game here. And then we will be calling it a day. So this is called Warp Out. So let's go ahead and push play. Let me play. Okay, good. Warp Out. Looks like it's running a little bit slow. Are you ready for our questions? Oh my goodness. Compare to one. Can you make the sentence true? Press here, then pick the best answer. One is longer than a fourth. Hmm. Yes, awesome. Ready to transfer warp energy. Continue. Awesome. Two. How many make one? How many thirds make a length of one? We need three thirds, remember? So this is quizzing us to make sure that we've uh, understood the concepts. All right, good job. Ready to transfer warp energy. Because I got on the first try, I get this little like, hey, way to go, good job. Love that. All right, compare one to one. How many make one? All right, that collection is complete. 15 tokens. All right. And so mission one, the journey begins, uh, is complete. We could go back to the bridge. We could go to the sector map, which I think I'm going to go to the sector map. Um, so let's go. Let's continue anyways. And so here we're starting off with mission one, the journey begins. Mission two would be wheel life. And then mission three, cold trade. So I'm going to go through these and um, I need to solve all of these. And uh, really, really cool, cool system. Make sure that you um, uh, check out Frax. Frax, I think, is probably fa fantastic for maybe third through fifth grade is probably what I would be um, uh, expecting it to sort of cover. Uh, second grade, it might be a little bit too early, not so much uh, fractions, but it's definitely playable for a second grader, it looks like. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Frax. Um, Explore Learning has awesome, awesome, awesome programs. So I hope this is exciting and interesting to you. If you like, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you get you have the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Okay, uh, I'll be trying. I'll be bringing more cool math content to you and content about other stuff. Um, take care. Keep on mathing and have a great day. Bye bye.